I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. You heard him, Diddy, issue his uh, apology for the video that we all saw um, yesterday or the day before. I forget when it dropped. Let me tell you something. Um, before we saw the video, I am 1,000% sure Diddy knew it was going to be released. And let me, let me tell you why I'm 1,000% sure Diddy knew. In the media, any, any uh, media outlet, respected media outlet, um, when they release information, before they release that information, they are going to contact the subject of the, the video and say, hey, Mr. Sean Combs, uh, we're doing a story and we received a video um, showing you in a hotel lobby near an elevator and an incident with Cassie. Um, would you like to offer comment that's the way this media thing works it doesn't just fall out of the sky and diddy is shocked like hey where did they get this from it don't happen like that right so he knew the video was coming out cassie knew that video was coming out and and other people in his circle knew the video was coming out and i'm and i'm pretty sure he probably told his children and everybody else hey Turn those comments off because this video is about to drop. All right. So that's how this media thing work. Uh, you know, a re respected media outlet, uh, real journalism. That's what we call it. And so that's how it happens. Now, let me give you my take on Diddy and the video. Um, I didn't need to see the video. To believe Cassie personally believing is not knowing Make, let's be sure of that believing is not knowing so I believed Cassie I did not know I wasn't 100% sure but I believed her because that lawsuit had so many details you probably forgot about the lawsuit by now and all the details and the dates and the times and she was very very meticulous about the incidents um, there was also something extra that you guys may have forgot do you remember when I believe it was Cassie who said that uh, and it may have been in a lawsuit that Diddy uh, got upset with a rapper and, and blew that rapper's car up set it on fire or blew it up sent the bomb whatever the case may be and the rapper in question kid cuddy responded and said it was true uh the filing then says shortly after diddy's threat kid cuddy's car actually blew up and kid cuddy confirmed it that somebody blew his car up kid cuddy google it if you didn't know about that google it google kid cuddy diddy car bomb Kid Cudi, Diddy car bomb. Look it up, and you'll see Kid Cudi confirming that somebody said it, somebody uh, blew his car up. Uh, Cassie is saying that it was Diddy. Okay. Once, once Kid Cudi confirmed that, then I believed what Cassie was saying. Wow, this man is out here blowing up. Is allegedly blowing up vehicles. Um. He's probably just as crazy or wild as or or or, or 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 the monster that they say he is. Now let me let me 
let me rephrase what I said a second ago. Uh, it wasn't that that led me to believe what she was saying because I already believed it was too detailed. But but that was like the icing on the cake for me to be like, yeah, yeah, um, it's probably worse than it's probably worse than what we think. Whenever you whenever you see people like a Cat Williams or a Jaguar Wright or, you know, random folks come on and they start telling these stories um, and people are not taking it serious because they just consider them to be disgruntled or jealous or hating uh, as a brother named Gene Deal. Gene Deal has been going on interviews talking to Vlad and and the art of dialogue and all these different platforms about Diddy. Uh, Puff uh, 50 Cent has been talking about Diddy. And, and nobody really took it serious because, you know, the word, the news cycle moves so fast. All these podcasts, everybody saying everything. And anybody can say anything. One of the things that I that I pay attention to is lawsuits, is the, the defamation lawsuits. And you don't see Diddy suing anybody for defamation. If a person has resources and they want to defend their name vigorously against lies a person with money can sue you they do it all the time a person with money will sue you uh, knowing that what you said about them was 100% true I believe it's called a, a slap lawsuit a, a way to use uh, using a lawsuit to shut you up right I do not I'm not aware of, of any defamation lawsuit filed by P. Diddy I'm not aware of it if, if, it, if, there, if it's out there let me know Diddy um, has not used his resources to defend his name there have been statements issued but in terms of, of putting that, you know, that, that, that putting them lawyers um, to work to go after people saying things about him, you haven't seen it. Gene Deal, who used to be Puffy's bodyguard, has been doing a press tour for years talking about P. Diddy and the things that he saw. He's been doing it for years. Never seen a defamation suit. Also, remember... Remember when Johnny Depp, when he fought to defend his name against Amber Heard? Let me tell you something. If, if, if I have resources and somebody is lying on my name, oh, I'm, oh, oh, are we going to court? Why not? Why not? So you, you have to ask yourself, why hasn't Diddy? filed any defamation suits why not i i believed cassie the video was so brazen it was so wild like diddy running down the hallway in a towel you know uh he caught her at the elevator clocked her threw her to the ground kicked her took her bag her purse or whatever um in a towel it looked like she was trying to get away like she was trying to leave and if you remember in the lawsuit she detailed that incident and that she left the hotel and then she came back um to apologize to diddy and that the staff at the hotel told her no to leave and go get some help it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time before somebody who was working at the hotel that day is going to come out and say something. Because trust and believe, whoever was working at the hotel that day, um, trust and believe that they're probably talking to their friends and family like, hey, y'all, I was there. I seen it. It was wild. It's only a matter of time before they come out and talk. They may even be in, in, in discussions right now with TMZ like, hey, I will do an interview if you pay me. OK, um, 
so the video was, was brazen it was disgusting uh puff daddy needs to be in jail puff daddy p diddy uh needs to be locked up yes i said it lock his ass up i said it is, is there anybody else that's going that's going to say it lock his ass up do you do you know can you imagine what puff daddy would do if somebody did that to one of his daughters if somebody did that to one of his daughters um it would be hell to pay it would be hell to pay he would put some money in the streets father's day is coming up and i will say this uh those kids they they love their father they love their father father's day is coming up and and i'm pretty sure that you will see them posting happy father's day dad i love you right um even at his worst, at his worst, those kids love their daddy. Now, what we don't know is if he was abusive to his children, right? Uh, we don't know that. But we do know that they are all living off of his work. Make no mistake. I don't know what those kids do for a living. Justin, uh, Quincy, that really ain't his son, uh, uh, Christian. Uh, they're, they're always at Diddy's houses and they're always together. Um, I don't, I don't think they have any uh, businesses on their own. I could be wrong, but, um, P Diddy is, is feeding the entire family. And, um, and even if, even if he was, uh, abusive to them, I could, I can see how, uh, a child would do whatever they need to do to make sure that they are taken care of, all right, uh, to keep that money coming in. Totally get it, totally get it. The other thing is the staff, right? I can totally see how somebody who works for Diddy would keep their mouth shut because they, they their livelihood uh, depends on him. Now, I understand it, uh, I don't respect it, and I don't like it because you can always get another job. It may not be working for Diddy, but you can always get another job. I know plenty of people who have lost their jobs and they landed on their feet eventually. So um, the people who work for Diddy, the people who tried to remove their affiliations from their LinkedIn profile. You see, the, 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 the poor black man, I do research. I don't I don't I may not be putting videos out. But when stuff happens, I get to look at who works for Diddy. Who is his who is his assistant? I did a video on his on his uh, executive assistant, Christina. KK, as they call her. I'm looking to see who works for him. And there were there were there, there were a number of people who removed their affiliations with Diddy from their LinkedIn profiles. I seen it. I was I was I was ahead of the game. I used the Wayback Machine to see the way that the, the Combs uh, Global, the way they changed their website. There's a lot going on behind the scenes in the business world. This has shaken up the industry because Puffy employs a lot of people. A lot of businesses have uh, terminated their partnerships. They're no longer associated with that man. And, uh, and, and that was a good decision to make. But the question is, did they know about this and... Were they only distancing themselves because it became public? The other question is, um, does Puffy issue this apology if this video doesn't come out? And I'm going to go ahead and use my, my, my life experience and say, absolutely not. I'm saying, absolutely not. We do not get this apology if that video is not released. If I'm lying... If I'm lying, I'm done. Come on now. Do you really believe he would he would have posted that video? If 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 the apology video, if uh, the uh, hotel video wouldn't have come out. Let's think about that. Let's think about that. 
I'm not gonna hold you. I, I want to know what y'all think. Um, let me know what you think about his apology. Let me know what you think about the people who were complicit, who knew this was going on, and also, do you think he should be going? He should be locked up. Do you think he's gonna end up in jail at some point? Now that video that he posted, uh, it looked like he was in Bali. <laughs> I'm looking at the video. It looks like he has already hopped on the plane and he linked up with Russell Simmons. Looking at looking at that bamboo up above, it don't look like P. Diddy is in Los Angeles or New York. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is the poor black man. Hit that like button if you like what you hear. If you if you support the content, hit that subscribe button. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.